Hello crafty friends, this is card number 38 in my full deck challenge. For this card I'm going to use the mixed media scavenger hunt challenge that I've recently found on Instagram. For this week the prompts are something black, something metal, a feather, a thread or a fiber. Don't forget to share with the hashtag seekgathercreate if you're using these prompts too. I'm going to start by placing masking tape over the face of my card. This is a little trick that I've learned from Francesca from Junk General Joy. This creates a great base and surface for you to start your artwork. If you'd like to join in the full deck challenge, it's not too late. You can join at any time and there's very few rules. You can find my group on Facebook. Just search full deck challenge group. It's a great community of like-minded people where you can give inspiration get inspiration and show your makes. I'm going to start with a black element from the prompts and I'm going to use this black gesso. The stencil that I'm using is by Little Birdie Crafts. I'll put a link to their website in the description below. There's also a discount code available for your purchase. I'm using a sponge to dab the black gesso through the stencil. I'm not doing it um, over the whole card just on the sort of the one half of it and then I just dry it well. For the feather element I have this beautiful feather that I've actually found um, outside. I'm feeling that it's a little bit too big for my card so I'm going to cut it down to a smaller size so it fits better and uh, the proportions of my card. I'm just deciding where the feather is going to go and exactly how the layout is going to be for this card. For my thread or fiber element, I've decided to put a pop of color and I've chosen pink because I love pink. So I have a piece of this waxed cord that I'm going to try and wrap around the feather and just see which way it's going to look the best uh, before I place everything down. I am going to play around with this a little bit. You'll see it change um, from now until the end of the video um, until I find something that I'm happy with and that is balanced. As I'm placing my feather, I'm feeling it's a little bit lost with the busy background of the stenciling that I've done. So I've decided that I'm going to change it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the whole thing solid black. Not the full face of the card, just the one side. And then I'm going to blend it sort of like an ombre feel to a lighter grey to the other side of the card. And I'm feeling this will make the feather pop and stand out against the background. I'm using a baby wipe to help with the blending. I would love if you subscribed to my channel. I have a lot of tutorials and process videos coming your way. Also don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. I have a piece of white torn vellum that I've just scrumpled up to give it a bit of texture that I'm going to add on top of the black and underneath the feather. I'm just working out the best way to work with this pink cord and what will look best for the card. And what I'm going to do in the meantime, I'm going to just use a sewing machine to stitch the vellum down onto the card. And I've just gone up and down a few times with running stitch and I've just let the threads be loose. I do like that raw look with the threads. And now I'm just wrapping the cord around the card. Instead of a bow, I think this will suit it better. And to attach it first so I can tie it securely I've just put a little drop of hot glue from the hot glue gun to attach the feather to the background and then I'm going to work on wrapping the cord around and tying it off nicely. I do like adding sentiments to my altered playing cards. I've just pulled out a few that I think would be suitable. I'm just going to put them on and just pick one that I think is best suited. For my metal element, I have these metal micro beads that are also from Little Birdie Crafts. I think they will bring great texture and that element of metal which is required for the prompts. Let's see how those will work out. I feel I need to balance the pink of the cord, so I'm bringing a little bit of pink cardstock to the bottom right hand corner in between the feather and I'm just adding it with a bit of a glue stick and then I'm going to stick my word love on top of that. 
To add the micro beads, I'm going to add them with some dimensional glaze. The only reason I'm using this is because it has a very fine tip, so I can control where the dimensional glaze goes. My craft bead, unfortunately, has got a really big opening and it'll be a little bit messy. So I just apply the dimensional glaze and then I sprinkle the beads on top. I also move them around a little bit with a point just to get them distributed evenly and in a way that it's appealing to the eye. I'm quite happy with that. I think it's something a little different. I'm just going to quickly just pick up all my little beads. I'd put a piece of paper underneath to catch them, but it didn't do a great job. So I don't want to waste any. I'm just collecting those. Let me show you a close up of the card so you can just see the details and also see what the beads look like once they are dried on the dimensional glaze. I really hope you enjoyed this video and were inspired to create your own. Thank you so much for taking time to watch my video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.